2K Lab. Man, check this out, man. It all started with a tweet from my guy, Tim Mulligan, and it just says, two goats in gaming just became free agents, OG Custin and Mitchell Inkrot. Will add tremendous value and experience to it to your company. Better reach out to them before they're off the market. And you already know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, bro, 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 bro. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but me and OG Constant, the OG that is constant, the OG that has been constant since what 2009 we go way back to call of duty modern war modern warfare too so that's my guy man so uh, you know what i'm saying mitchell's a good guy too man all the both of them guys cool man listen we're gonna talk about everything that has to do with that in one second but before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below man listen man we just trying to get into this algorithm and take this 2k stuff to the moon and if nobody told y'all this today man hey listen man Y'all all my family. I love each and every last one of my 2K subs, man. So check this out, bro. It, it, I mean, it just is what it is. It hit us all with, it, it, it was, it just hit us all. And, and you already know, y'all already know that it hits me and makes me with a heavy heart because like I said, constant my guy, been my guy since Modern Warfare 2. He helped me even start off with all the content creation back when I was doing me versus me. Bro, I used to do the absolute most with all of my videos. I used to do me versus me, where I would go play a city league basketball game and then come play a 2K game and see who did better. And I would have it on realistic stuff. So realistic stats and realistic things would be happening. None of that scoring like 70, 80, 90 points. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like I, if I scored 20 in a game, I'll put on like five minute quarters and just, you know, try to play a regular basketball game. But I was also playing like with a 35 overall and all that. It was no VC spent. It was a great series, man. But, uh, you know, they erased it off Machinima Sports when that became no longer a thing. It sucks, but hey, it is what it is. But anyway, so here we go. This is what OG Costa said, man. He says, I can't believe I'm saying this, but after four years at 2K, my time has become, I mean, has come to an end. I want to thank each and every creator I had the opportunity to work with while at 2K, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. I also want to thank the, uh, the 2K sports community for your support. And then he just goes on to say, uh, I'm not sure what's next for me. Uh, I'm gonna take some time off and take care of my mental health, but gaming has been my career since Machinima Sports. Exactly, it was me and me, me, him, uh, old Kayvon, Silas, all them boys, man. We was out there, man. Uh, my career since Machinima Sports days, so I'm not going far. I'll let you all know when I make a decision. Thanks for everything. And so, like we said, man, thank you for everything, constant man. Like I said. I never um like I said I I don't think y'all know that I that I've been constantly in my guy since for that long that was back man it was like 14 years bro I was I, I had dynamite in my legs back then bro I did so many crazy I would do crazy dunks and just dunk on people and do all these stuff in my games and then put it on there sometimes I would outplay my guy sometimes my guy would outplay me but hey it was what it was then Mitchell he turned around and like I'm just thinking it's OG constant and then the next thing I know I see Mitchell and it just says hey some personal news uh after four incredible years my tenure at uh NBA 2k has or at 2k has come to an end a run that included 20 major launches, the design and launch of the creator program, and that's what him, he and Constant designed and launched it, and countless hours in the NBA 2K community. It's time for a break. And uh, that's what he says, and last, last but certainly not least, uh, thank you NBA 2K community for welcoming me with open arms during a global pandemic you gave me something to focus on or to save me something to focus on during some pretty rough times and it just says uh in my stead treat stacks gabe evan mike and ld2k with love and grace and y'all already know what it is man so you know we're gonna treat them guys uh we always gonna treat those guys with love and grace especially ld2k you know what i'm saying he leave come back do his thing man ld2k always gonna get met with open arms and then last but not least he says all that being said i'm not going anywhere gaming is home for me and i'll announce my next move uh when i'm ready okay okay still i'll still be on twitter a lot but just might be uh, focusing on my hot sport, my hot sports takes for a bit. K okay, bye, and you know what I'm saying. How you hit him with that? K okay, bye. Hey, it is what it is, man. So like, like I said, man, like uh, just bringing it all home. These guys was were really a couple of the good guys over there at 2K. 
and it almost brings me back to the video that Brutus Sim put out on yesterday. It's like, like, who are we listening to? Over, like, hey, hey, listen, man. Obviously, they're a business. They're making way more money than than what I'm making, and they're doing way better than what I'm doing, man. But like, when you got consensus fan favorites such as these guys, and like, like for some reason, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Maybe they both just decided, you know, to do something else or just take on other things or what have you. I have absolutely no clue what's going on but when you got guys like this that are consensus favorites um over there and that everybody likes everybody loves and you know they actually interact with the community and then they're no longer there it just i don't, I don't know what we're doing at this point in time but i know one thing i feel like we're not listening to the right people because look at the, like, like when we look at the state of the game you look at things that are going on you look at the changes that were made to the game you look at who's getting pushed what's going on here and there it's just like like I, I i just don't know the state of the community like these guys are are to a lot of people those two guys are the community so i, I really don't understand exactly what's going on but hey again it ain't my business it ain't my business like it's not my business as in it, I, I don't have to be in the know and it's also not my business as in it's their business it's their corporation it's not mine so hey when something is yours you can do what you want to with it but it does make us it, i do think there's some room for questions and criticism here just you know i don't know what's going on and will the next and we know that those guys are the innovators of the next makers program so what does this mean for the next makers program will things continue to go on as normal are they gonna just hand it over to somebody has this been planned and like this is just a transition that's been planned out for the last you know year or so like whatever we don't know but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time until next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.